Hello, I'm Knut Sandven. I'm the CEO of Sonair. So at Sonair, we have made a new 3D ultrasonic sensor. And it's based on the detection principle uh, of ultrasonics, which you know from the Park Assist sensors. But we are in full 3D. So we have built a new hardware platform. It's based on our customized and proprietary transducers. And what this has enabled is to, or for us to use the techniques developed in medical ultrasound over decades for in-air applications. So what we will show you today is something you have never seen from a ultrasonic 3D sensor before. All the robot categories require to see in 3D. If they are going to work in dynamic environments with humans, and they are, we know they are. We have our focus on the AMR category, uh, but we are testing with customers in all the robotics categories. And for those of you who would like to understand more of the background of our technology, this Forbes article is quite good. We really do change how robots see. We say we build safety shields around robots. We are safety certifying the sensors. We are certifying to seal 2 performance level D. And this really takes the safety field around the robot from the 2D safety lidars up in full 3D. We introduce a new category of sensors. We call it ADAR, Acoustic Detection and Ranging. And of course we check all the important boxes. Most important is the 3D feature we have 180 by 180 degrees field of view, so we see uh, 5 meters range, so to both sides, up to the roof and down to the floor. We safety certify, and this in combination with a cost-efficient platform is a very good combo. Also important is uh, what we call ease of integration. And one part of that is it's easy to integrate into the robot. It can be made almost invisible. But also that it handles uh, changing environments. Um, different materials, plastic, glass, metals with uh, no problems. Uh, so competitive uh, against the alternatives. Here you see a picture from our demo room, and we will soon take you there. But to prepare for what you will be seeing. On the left side here you see in the background an image from a 3D uh, RealSense camera. And the green dots there are from the 2D LiDAR. And the 2D LiDAR will, of course, not see the objects not extending into the 2D field. The, re the uh, red dots, they're from the uh, ultrasonic 3D sensor. And as you can see, it's, we show only a few points per object, but we see all the objects. And important is that we show the closest points to the sensor. And you may say, there, we do not often encounter a ball hanging from the roof, and that's probably correct, but what often is the case is that the legs of a person is not the closest body part to a robot. We will see the closest body part. So with this, I'll leave it over to Simon. He will give you a live demo, and you will see uh, a 3D ultrasonic point cloud for the first time. Thank you. 
Hello, my name is Simon. I'm an engineer here in Sonair. And today I will give you a live demo of our 3D ultrasonic sensor. You can see the sensor here. I'm holding it in my hand. This is the size of it. I've also mounted the sensor on top of this box here, as you can see. And I will give you this live demo. On the screen, you can see the output from the sensor. It's a point cloud. Right now, it's an empty scene. You can see there's nothing in, in front of the sensor. But when I'm walking here now, I will show you the field of view. We got 180 by 180 degrees field of view. So right now, I'm on the side of the, of the sensor and I'm walking to the other side. And you can see it's tracking me. It's also detecting me on this side. On the screen, you can see a red square. And that's the predefined uh, safety zone that I have defined right now. And if I put my foot inside of it, you see the red light goes on. Also, it says object detected uh, in safety zone on the screen. And if I take it out, it's go it goes off. So if something is inside the safety zone, the robot has to stop. To also show you the 180 vertical field of view, I'm going to take this pole here, put it into the, the field of view, into the, the scene, and you can see that the light goes red. I will also put some objects in the scene so we can see that we can detect pretty small objects as well. Now, on the screen here, you can see that these three objects are detected. What's nice about an ultrasonic sensor is that transparent objects, such as this picture here, is easily detected because uh, this color or the transparency of the objects is not uh, something that affects ultrasonic. So if I put this into the scene here, you can see that this picture is also detected. And now we can see four objects in the scene and also on the screen. screen. To show you the responsiveness of the sensor, I will finish off by throwing this ball into the scene. And you can see how the ball is bouncing. That was all that I'm going to show today. Thank you for watching.